are in the biggest night market in Penang. And we tried all the delicious Malaysian street foods. Including one really, really bad dish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's begin the adventure. We just entered the night market and we already got something to taste. And it's really healthy with a lot of vitamin C. Oh, I'm a bit sprayed. Um, I don't know. It's not that bad. It's a bit scary. I don't know the taste. Yeah, uh, do we? Oh, nice. oh, this is nice. Yeah. But we just want to eat first. Maybe come back later for a drink. Yeah. I think we found our favorite dish. The boom boom sweet potato. Boom, 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 boom. Mira is trying the sweet potato balls and I'm gonna try cheesy balls. Okay. I want one ball. So I have my boom boom sweet potato. Oh, it's super warm. It smells like olibola, like the Dutch olibola, my favorite dish. Yeah, it's nice. It's a little bit too warm. Uh, peanut, she caught uh, sugar, planta. We have never seen this dish before, so let's try it. Okay. Don't take more, Mira. Huh? <laughs> it's a uh, very good. Okay. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. We're going to try something else, and I believe this is typical Malaysian. I think I've seen it somewhere, like try this Malaysian food, but we can never find it. And it is this. It's so warm, it's so warm. It's freshly made, everything is super fresh here, but it's warm. But it's really tempting how he made it. I was like, I just want to eat it, so... It's a bit cheesy in between. But it's not cheese. Oh, it tastes really good. It's not that heavy, and you have like a little sticky structure in between. So it almost looks like a good filling. Let us know in the comments what's the name of this dish because I am no almost clue. sure that all the Malaysians know this one for sure. But it tastes really okay, nice. Okay, I'm going to do a quick bite. I cannot hold this. Mm, oh, <laughs> oh no! Man! It's a bit peanut butter. Mm, oh. And corn. It's good. Really good. Man, this is already my favorite knife marker we've ever been. It's really nice. Don't drop this one, Bio. Peanut butter is one of our favorite things and there's a yeah. lot of peanuts in here. I just want to say it's like peanut butter and corn, one of my favorite foods in one dish. In a pancake thing, now this is just the dessert made for me. So we saw something really weird, but we're gonna try it and see if it's really that weird how the name is. What are we getting, Mira? We're getting crispy stinky tofu. <laughs> It is super stinky, but really, really, really bad. Yeah, super bad. Okay, wait. Before we continue, we have to tell you something about stinky tofu. Yes, stinky tofu smells like rotten garbage or smelly feet. So hopefully that justifies our reaction. Okay, maybe we try together. I hope that we don't regret it. Cheers. Oh, the smell is the, the worst smell I've ever yeah, But we got a Thai sauce on top of this. So it's like a Thai chili sauce. So let's try it. Two, one. Hmm. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I can't. I can't believe it. I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, it's in my mouth. It's in my mouth. Now your bottle will stink. It's really, really bad. Like, really bad. Just when you eat it, you feel like you're, you're eating like a rotten meat. I'm a bit shaky even. Like, I really have to like a throat. I think it's the worst thing I've ever eaten in my life. No joke. I've never had anything so disgusting like this. Luckily, we had the sweet potato ball. The boom, boom, sweet potato. Who makes this? What is this? Who likes this? You don't see it, but Ali is about to faint, I think. <laughs> The only reason why I ate it, because it's tofu, but someone would tell me that if it's uh, rotten meat, I would believe it is that bad, the smell. <sighs> when we were just biting it, it was not bad, and as soon as you start chewing it, you have the whole taste, like the exact taste, how it smells. I'm really not a picky eater. I cannot come up with anything what I don't eat, what I don't like. Really, I eat everything. This, I've never had in my life. 
people let us know in the comments do you eat this why like what is this i think i would eat one more grasshopper from the bangkok's night market than here oh. really should i just Me go for going? it so after a crazy trauma we are finally trying migoreng the fried noodle it's uh, mixed with a uh, malaysian sauce oh, oh yeah the tofu the sauce with the the flour flour the flour yeah the fried onion yeah oh, yes fried, please yeah. Really? every time the shopkeepers they are so friendly they also explain us what is the ingredient and what, how, we, how it would taste and everything so that's a really good experience i really feel embarrassed that i throw out my food i oh, sometimes i see people doing that and i think how bad can it be you know just just swallow it but this time really i thought it's not if i do it then it's it's going wrong it's really going wrong but now oh. we have something that looks really promising let's try baby it's like all red with spices malaysian spices I'm gonna go for a big bite. Spicy. It tastes a bit like pad thai. Spicy pad thai. Yeah. And all the things like the red things what you saw, that's all veggies, like fried veggies. Do you want to eat this? Yeah. What is it? You think? Stinky tofu. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Veggie. Oh veggies. Yeah. Oh, I think from now on I will be afraid for foods because. I just didn't know something like that could exist. And when we were walking across this market, I see a lot of desserts. Oh, like oh really man. good looking desserts. So uh, that can make my evening. I found something so cute. They're making their own little pizzas here in this little pizza oven. We have to order it. So we are standing next to a pizza store. But suddenly the wind changed the direction and you can smell the tofu, the stinky tofu. They're like literally in the corner of this market but you can still smell it. And maybe that's the reason why they have put them in the corner so that people just don't freak out. And it's getting dark, it's also getting really packed with locals of course. Definitely a must thing to do when you are in Penang and it's only on Wednesdays. We have got the pizza and let's hope that it didn't get all the smell from the tofu. Look at this, they even have it in a little tiny pizza box. Oh! Mm. It's uh, super, almost like a cookie. It's nice. Oh! Of course, it's not like original proper pizza. Mm. Maybe Pretty you good. Can see it. But the crust is super thick and yeah. crispy. <laughs> It's a proof, Mira finished it without throwing up. Really good. Really love it. So maybe now we go for dessert. And let's see what uh, kind of desserts you can find in a Malaysian food market. They look promising. Very promising. We have been to many food night markets throughout Asia, but I must say this one is the most surprising. They have food that we have never seen before. And they're, yeah, most of them, most of them, they're pretty good. Which one do you want? Uh, oh, it's different? Yeah, yeah. Oh, which one is the best? Uh, you can choose this all one. All of them. This one? <laughs> yes. Yeah, do that one. The other desserts, and I'm not going to eat them all, don't worry. So we can keep them in the fridge. For one week? For one week. It's called a Swiss roll, and we have four different flavors, so now we have to choose. This one? Yeah, you want to choose this one? Or this tomorrow? one, or the green one. No, I think this one. This one? Yeah. Two chocolates. Yeah. This is a roll, as you can see. It's not the most charming thing to eat. <laughs> it's like nice, okay? I really enjoyed it, but I want to try it with my tea and a cozy time, you know, and not here on the market just eating it out of my hands. That's not how I like to eat my dessert, so I'm going to keep this for tomorrow, but it's good. Now we are standing in a line to get something really special. There's the shop vendor, he's making fresh sugarcane juice. So he's literally squeezing the sugarcane out in front of everybody. And you get it like 100% fresh. And there's a big line for that, so it must be good. Is it warm then, or? I have to look if I'm close to buy, it looks really weird. 
Where's the juice coming from then? From the sugar cane. Out of the tree. You have never tried it. I tried it, but I've never seen it making them. When we were kids, we would eat sugar cane like this. And then you throw the dry thing. <laughs> Really? It's the difference between Europe kids, Asian kids. <laughs> yeah, we know more about nature than yeah. processed food. <laughs> the queue is getting longer and longer, so I really have high hopes from this. So, let's see. Yeah. This carry bag. You can just go on a little trip, little hike, and take this with you. And it's freshly made. What was that? The juice was it? Sugar cane juice. And we also added some lemon. Oh, you already tried it. Is it nice? It tastes really good. Yeah? But it tastes a lot of lemon. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's the really lemon adds more freshness, yeah. So that brings us to the end of the video and we hope that you enjoyed it. Some things didn't go as planned, but that's part of traveling. And if you come here and you try that dish, let us know and what do you think or, about it. I'm so or, or, curious. Or if you have a friend who has not watched this video, maybe let bring him or her. Yeah. Let them try it and maybe do like a bet that if you eat this, I'm gonna give you $50. And I'm like 2000% sure they cannot finish the whole bowl. They cannot finish one. I finished one. But he is a crazy eater. No, no, no. You can just put your mind on zero <laughs> and eat something. So that's it for the video. We hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Bye.